trust your crypto assets to centralized exchanges that actively sell your private information and front run your trades? Would you like to buy and sell your assets without any middlemen, intermediaries, or robots? Do you like paying slippage? fees, and having the price go up as bots steal from you on low-liquidity decentralized exchanges? The solution is NodeMarket.io set your guaranteed buy or sell price. No middlemen, no slippage, no bots, ever. Buy or sell 1, 10, or even 10 million tokens, and you never have to worry. OTC trades are between you and the seller or buyer, guaranteed by audited smart contracts, and no human middlemen. NodeMarket.io Brandon! Dude, what a day. <sighs> Man, so uh, let me uh, let me just drop watching, this music down a little bit. There's all sorts of watching. there's all sorts of cool stuff going on. Oh, you you go first. Well, I mean, uh, no, you go no, you go first. No, a lot of cool stuff going on in the market. Um, a lot of cool stuff, obviously. You've been watching the uh, the panic in the market, the up and downs. We have some stuff that we're going to talk about today to, you know, ease that little pain. But it's the panic. The panic's pretty funny because you guys remember Bitcoin's at sixty eight, almost sixty nine thousand, maybe sixty nine thousand right now. <laughs> well, so yeah, it's it's like, some of the guys I follow. They're like, uh, you know, it was here two days ago, right? Like, and everybody's like. Ah! <laughs> you know, like it is. Like, what it's it is. so crazy. Like, oh, oh no, we're we're all the way down to sixty nine thousand. The all time high. If you say that out loud, you feel you should feel pretty damn stupid. Like the reason someone's like, why is Bitcoin seventy thousand? I said because people trust it seventy thousand times more than the U.S. dollar. That's why. And I'll probably tomorrow in office hours, I know that um, inflation came out, the in, 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 inflation, the inflation figures came out today. Uh, I, and we'll break that down tomorrow. But um, if you just look at core and you look at CPI, you don't, it's not the full picture, right? It's like you, you see like a piece of fruit in a box. You're not quite sure like what you need to like open it up and kind of peel it apart and look at the seeds and everything. So maybe <laughs> yeah. we'll talk about that. It's it's such a kind of mind numbing discussion because what happens is typically the CNBC route for news is headline thing. And then the next three days people go, oh, the headline thing is actually not what the thing was. That That has that actually is not the thing that has nothing to do with the thing. That's the wrong thing. But they don't do that on CNBC. CNBC doesn't go back and do retractions. Like no. when they come out with these, these giant employment numbers. And then they, oh, we downward revised by half. Well, why don't you have a show about downward revising by half? No, no, no. But the headline, we love the headline. I mean, it's news. So you got to be careful. And I think that it was funny because people reacted uh, over the last two days. They reacted to inflation numbers we were going to get today because they're like what if what if the fed doesn't cut rates soon and that gets into a more macro discussion which again that's more like an office hours thing but just to reduce it it is the opposite raising rates and raising and lowering rates does nothing in the economy it is provably bullshit They've done study after study after study. It's the same thing with QE. All of the QE that has ever existed, nearly a trillion in QE and QQE, if you look at Japan, and there are 26 different QE programs. If you look at all this kind of stuff, I think it's had a 14 basis point effect, like all of it. I want you to think about that for a second. 0.14 of a percent. <laughs> That's... All of the massive effect of quantitative easing and tightening. 
and then the basics of QE are I go into the market with bank reserves. Now it works different in different places, but in the United States, the Fed, the big one, I go in with bank reserves and I force banks to sell me their quality collateral, quality collateral, you, you, you know, government securities. I take them off that bank's balance sheet and I give them inert bank reserves, an asset that they cannot use. They cannot deploy and they cannot monetize. So you tell me, is that creating liquidity and cash or is that actually strip mining the market of quality collateral? Because when a bank has trouble, they go to repo with their collateral and they do all these cool kind of transactions. It's kind of like, hey, you know, uh, Brandon, it's the end of the month. You owe, you owe some rent. I see, I see you have that wallet. You got Ethereum, you got Bitcoin. That's some quality collateral. You also got a sphincter, Pepe sphincter coin. So Brandon comes to the market with Pepe sphincter. How many Pepe sphincter coins do you have, Brandon? 18 billion because, you know, it's <laughs> 0.0018 cents or whatever yeah. it is. So Brandon comes to the market and we say, uh, yeah, I'm not taking that Pepe sphincter coin, buddy. That's not quality collateral. That's not any kind of collateral. We can't, we can't do anything with that. We don't count that as money. Bank reserves are Pepe sphincter coin. They don't count as money. So when you look at all of these weird things, you have to, you have to, just like with CNBC, you have to pull out the headline of what they're doing from the actual what they're doing. Just like CPI, you have to pull out the headline numbers from what's actually happening. Oh, you don't look at owner equivalent rents. Oh, that's weird. Maybe you should, because that's a huge part of it. Almost half. Stupid. Oh, what about gas and oil price? Oh, well. Uh, those are political functions. Those have nothing to do demand for gas and, and like uh, anyway. So when you like distill these things down, you get, you get a completely different picture, which I think was funny because it seems like all the markets Monday and Tuesday were like, oh, CPI is coming. Oh, inflation. All the fucking. Stuff. And then when the the number comes out this morning, they're like, oh no. And then they're like, wait, what are? Everybody goes like, what are we oh knowing about? It means nothing. Three point seven instead of three point eight. Three point seven. Don't sell the kids. Sell the furniture. Sell Pepe Sphincter coin. All right. That's it. I think that's it. I didn't really ever. I, I did want to. I did want to share some little bit of insight and some news just to help people oh. um, too because. I think this is good to share just to kind of like start to get people like thinking a little bit about next steps processes for hypercycle and that stuff. And then I like to show them stuff that we're working on in back end of uh, hypercycle. Uh, Nick and I are actually working quite a bit on a managerial contract to help you manage your uh, node licenses and your hyper shares. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we're working on this um, because it's quite the complicated process. We're trying to ease it down for not just, and I, and I want to use the word dumb it down. And that's just for me and or for you, because it's going to be a lot simpler if we don't have to think of the complex moving parts behind the scenes. I mean, at the end of the day, the only thing that we want is to be able to buy, sell, make money, right? I mean, at the end of the day. Okay. So that's, that's what we're trying to help you guys with. So I kind of wanted to show you this to walk you through just a little bit of what we're doing. This is a brief look at, this is the, the whole uh, dashboard manager. And there's a couple of functions in here that we're going to be able to do in this dashboard manager. And you can tell that this one's grayed out and this one's green. And I'll tell you the difference between those in a second. But basically when you get your hyper share created, you're going to have a couple of options through our node manager. You're going to be able to uh, send your R and S tokens, and you're going to be able to claim any hypercycle rewards that are in that hyper share or any rewards that have been deposited in that hyper share. You're also going to be able to set up uh, this message down here, which is the string that can hooks it. This actually hooks it to the software that's going to be running your license, your node. And this is what you need to do to be able to get it Tilly and compute. Now, we did have a talk with Tufi a couple days ago. He said they have a system in place to be able to till kind of ongoing for us as long as you guys have connected your tokens and your licenses together. So that's actually a real good plus and kind of a perk for a lot of you guys that were worried about finding hardware for the tilling process. I don't think that's going to be an issue now. 
next step that we're working on is just the place where we're going to be able to compute. And so we're actually working on some systems there. But right now, what Nick and I are doing is uh, Node Market's taking a bigger part in this. We're actually going to be the ones that are writing the software, the contract management, so that you can take your entire hyper share. And if you don't want to have it anymore, you can take it. And we're building a marketplace because this didn't exist in HyperCycle's roadmap at all, by the way. We're going to take that entire hyper share. We're going to wrap it up for you guys so you can bow tie that thing. And if you guys ever want, you can list it on a market. You can wait, also wait, wait, wrap wait, it in our wait, contract. Wait. Go, You're blowing oh, my mind. You're blowing my brain box. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're blowing okay. my brain box. So you're saying that Node Market will have a marketplace. <laughs> so you listen, say no listen, Linda. Wait a minute. Like wait a minute. What if I own? What if I own Node Market NFTs, and then people sell their their business? Like if someone sells. Imagine a year from now, two splits in. Someone sells a master node, and maybe they get four million bucks for it. So are you saying that when that sale occurs and that fee goes across node market rails, then the NFT holders would get a piece of that? Is that what you're bucks? saying? That means $100,000 goes split up between NFT holders for that one business sale. So as a broker, we're basically, what do they call it? It's like a bro online broker now for businesses that are producing income, which is really cool. What node market was actually set out to become and we haven't even touched the hence, surface of that. Hence so. the name Node Market. <laughs> so instead of just being able to sell your licenses or your tokens or your C hypercycle stacks, which we can get into that like way down the line, uh, you can now sell your entire business as a packaged whole. You don't even need to stop that business from running. When you sell Walmart, for example, does Walmart shut down its doors and say for sell? No. So you guys are going to be able to wrap up your hyper shares in our contract and have them still running, producing you income while you have it listed for sale or why you're moving it around, which is actually, oh my God, the, the mechanics behind this is so cool. Anyway, it's a really cool system, but we're working on this stuff and it just takes time. Like, oh my, we're still waiting for hyper. Like I just talked to hyper. He's being very kind. He's being very kind when he says we are working on it. Well, who, who, he means we as in brandon and and all of these super smart devs that we that we have well if we're gonna be honest then they're all working on it yeah exactly yeah they're super smart <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but i'm just trying to man, <laughs> yeah transfer so, the information if someone, if someone approaches me through email and i've already gotten a few and you'll notice you didn't get a response because i don't respond to whimsy <laughs> like asking me technical details about this stuff i'm just like it's gonna be cool bro <laughs> It is Quick. cool. There's there's Quick. some stuff that I say that to too. I'm like, don't worry, <laughs> oh. yeah. but we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Or, or I'll just say I'm here for the lulls. <laughs> Click. Is that a 4chan thing? That, that is 4chan, right? It's lulls. They started. So don't worry, back. everyone. Anyway. We're biddling. We're biddling. But uh. now you guys are starting to see why why node market. The whole point of node market was is so that eventually you can completely manage these businesses and buy and sell and trade these businesses, lend against these businesses. We're going to eventually put up ways that you could borrow against these businesses. This, but it's just one thing at a time. And you needed, you know, you've got to build from the ground up because we're here for the lulls, you know? We're here for the lulls. Here for uh, the lulls. As you can see, this dashboard is built because, of course, everybody's got to be one of these guys. Right? Yes, but when, huh? Well, that's, that's yeah. how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it. I I, I realize you have built a rocket ship to Mars, but when colonize, you know, when yeah. colonize. For, 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 <laughs> well, this is, this is, uh, I'm going to start deleting some people I decided. <laughs> you know what? You've run out of questions, Eleven. You've run out of questions today. You're banned, you're banned from uh, questions. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that brief update. We're really excited. I know you guys, oh my gosh. Can you not see that we're working on like a butt ton of stuff? Anyway, we're like... <laughs> We're working on a ton of stuff. We actually could launch this, so it's we're not honoring that question because that's another question. No, uh, no, we will not be integrating any tax tracking. Just so you know, like that's simple, right? That's a we're simple not answer. the man, dude, dude, man. We're not the man, buddy. Come on, guy, bro. But 
Uh, will when will it be ready to use? So we're waiting for. I could tell you the sequence of events. Uh, I talked to the hypercycle team this morning. I don't feel like I sleep much anymore. Uh, they are launching another contract on mainnet next week. We have to wait for that contract to launch, and then we can write our wrapper contract. As soon as we write our wrapper contract, then we will have everything ready. So I'd say three to four weeks, we'll be good to go with all this stuff. So rock and, and roll. Uh, pin, listen, pending audits because that's yeah, y'all. Oh, yes, because we have to we have to audit. I'm gonna get that wrapper contract audited by two separate companies. Um, just because I think it's necessary. So, yeah, don't stress. Guys, and also, I know you guys, when, 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 but right now, there's no compute actually being paid, so you're not losing any money. So there's really no loss right now. Just know you're in the system, so we're good to what go. It means, what it means is, I think people will realize, you know, the value in being able to have a one-stop shop to manage an entire business. There's not really anything, you know, if you think about all the businesses that entrepreneurs get involved in, there's not like a one place that you go to other than like a Shopify online business or an Amazon business. There's not really, and even if you have an Amazon business, you can't go to Amazon and sell your business. To some extent, uh, domain people that domain squat kind of can do that through the domain services a little bit, but they kind of have to go here and there. Ideally, this is going to be one place where you buy, sell, lease, rent, leverage, manage, operate, cooperate, whatever this business, so that you don't have to go to fourteen different places. And it was looking like that's the way things were going, and then we we did we had a lot of meetings and we think we've kind of forced a course correction which would be better for everyone so there we go there's also some other stuff coming that's peripheral to that but we won't speak of such things not just think, yet yeah sorry i just want to briefly touch on that but i think let's get to the market because we actually and nick you probably don't know this too but we have kind of a lot of new people that have joined over the last month Ooh, we need a brief join we need a brief intro to what they do right now. I don't believe. Uh, well, it was actually my my grandma. She she signed up, so I'm actually just helping her directly. You mess with my grandma? Mm. <laughs> I don't think they've. I don't think they've made that connection yet. Nick. Uh, <laughs> but like, guess what? You want to try this this tea, Let's, this jasmine tea? <laughs> and then my grandma was like, "Do you want to try this meth that took all my teeth?" <laughs> and your grandma's like, "What?" She's like, hold on, just Let's hold on a minute, or whatever they do. Do they do that for meth? You do that? I think that's that's heroin, or is uh, it meth too? No, because meth you can eat it, you can shoot it, you can snort it. Meth is like Dude, a. I don't know. Now you you're getting out. You're, you can do you're everything with meth. You can build. Like I saw a guy at, uh, at Walmart at three a.m. He was in the plumbing department. He was building a spaceship. I was like, what's going on? He's like, I got to build a ship. Because those midget DEA agents dressed as my neighbor's kids been watching me. I was like, oh, oh, you need a, a, is, a you, need a, you need a sales assistant is what you need. Aisle six, aisle six. I. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> I think only in LA is it like this. Maybe not though. Maybe not. And who knows? Anyway. I think. <laughs> anyway, let's get to let's get behind the wall. Let's talk about yeah. what's going on in the market. What we would do right now if we were putting currency units in our next steps for currency units and why Bitcoin? Why Bitcoin? That's a good question. It's a question that we, that, that even even the elders asked for age, for centuries, for centuries. <laughs> uh, they did. But it didn't exist. No, it didn't. We need Bitcoin. Did. That's what they said. There's actually cave writings on the wall that have the Bitcoin symbol. Just saying. My cat made some cave writings last night with urine. Going oh. The proverbial wall now oh. to Hold on. The broadcast. No, slow. Let's try this To continue the broadcast privately for the digital investors and digital private clients. If you'd like to join us, simply go to nickblacknext.com and subscribe to one of our plans and immediately take advantage of our library of tools, tactics, and information. It's all designed to help you learn, grow, and manage your portfolio like a pro. Join us now.
going slow. Removing Facebook. See you later. Bye, Facebook. Moving the orange ball to the triangle. Removing the one person that watches on Twitch. <laughs> that guy. Like that guy's like, ah, oh, crap, we're out again. <laughs> like shit. It's like, it's like, yeah, he's watching Twitch and CNBC. That's where he gets all. Oh his man, I know something about.